New at six tonight, we have some beautiful video and still photography in this next story. Videographer Lee Friesland and I traveled to the Shenandoah National Park last week where photographers come from around the country to take pictures of white-tailed deer. And this time of year, the prize photo usually involves a doe and a fawn. It's sunrise in the Big Meadows section of Virginia's Shenandoah National Park. The scenery, the early morning light, and the deer are why wildlife photographer Jim Fields is here. This time of year, he comes two to three times a week, hoping for a good shot of a doe and her fawn. He's watching the deer, and as you can see, they are watching him. Starting in early June, late May, that's usually when the majority of fawns are born, so the opportunity for catching a real young fawn, a couple days old with their mother, are really good this time of year. In the Big Meadows section of the Shenandoah Park, there are an estimated 150 to 175 deer per square mile, more than most anywhere, but that doesn't ensure a great picture. Photographers are looking for more than just a simple picture of a deer. That's really not going to cut the mustard. You're looking for some sort of memorable action. Then you want to be in the right place at the right time so you can capture the moment. A lot of it is just luck, but uh, you, you kind of know it when you see it. You know, you know, you can see it in the viewfinder, and you know, it's usually a time when the light's you know really good. You know, maybe the sun's just cracking. You know, the backside of the ridge, and you have that nice golden hue. I got a good shot last weekend of a doe uh, grooming her fawn and, and you know I had a nice strong angle from right to left and you know you, and you knew it when you took it. You know the eyes were in focus and there was a little bit of catch light and you know it's, it, it's not something you can really plan with the wildlife it just kind of comes together. On this day Jim walks and listens for nearly two hours but doesn't take a single shot. I didn't get anything today. <laughs> really? That's right. <laughs> but you know, got to see some cool stuff and you know, seen a lot of deer, but just, just didn't see the shot that I was looking for. Jim isn't alone in his quest for that perfect moment. In June, I traveled to the park and found nearly a dozen photographers, all, like me, seeking images of fawns. Park biologist Rolf Gubler says the habitat is perfect and the deer, while not tame, are used to people. Ample food cover, and really lack of predators um, for the most part. Um, let's say lack of effective predators. Not counting the kind with long lenses that cost as much as $10,000. Jim, I'm feeling a little inferior here. <laughs> I mean, I thought this was a, a nice lens, but you've got some pretty impressive yeah. equipment here. Well, this is a nice lens, actually. I mean, they're, they're both good lenses, and it depends on what you're trying to get. I'm, I'm using a pretty large telephoto. This is a 600 millimeter. Uh, just for the very reason that I can, you know, get tight intimate shots without uh, disturbing the natural behavior of the animal. It's important to respect the deer by staying at least 50 feet away. And I learned the hard way that you can't pursue the deer because they'll usually run away. If possible, I can see one, you know, maybe calling and see the baby get up, you know. I'm, I'm in position and I just kind of let them do what they want to do. You know, I don't do a lot of approaching. In other words, it takes not just photographic skill, but an understanding of the animal, patience, and a bit of luck to get that magic moment. Later that same day, I spotted a doe and twin fawns in another section of the park. The angle was wrong to get a photo of the fawns nursing, so we waited, watched, and kept our distance. After a bit, the doe moved her fawns along. I watched through the lens and snapped some shots that were not keepers. But then, just for a second, all three were in perfect position. And the moment was mine. So that photo is going on my wall. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. And when yeah. you and Lee got back from that trip, I couldn't wait to see the video because they are such amazing creatures to uh, observe. So can just anyone go walking around to take these pictures? Yeah, it's the Shenandoah National Park. You go up to Skyline Drive. Of course, you pay your entrance fee to the park, but you can, yeah, you can go take the pictures. You're supposed to stay 50 feet away from the deer, and there are you know, plenty of deer, but you can walk around for a while and not see any, too. So you've got to get a little bit lucky.